Colorism should be an ascent issue, but many struggle with it today. Janelle Bramfield, Jamaican track and field athlete and also known as Noelle's girlfriend, recently spoke again about people speaking about her being black in not such a nice way. Janelle Bramfield said, I thought we were past colorism in Jamaica. And she posted some of the comments that she received after the backlash of what happened with Noah Lyles speaking about what he knows about Jamaica and people being made more aware of her. She spoke about the cyberbullying stemming from hateful comments and criticisms of her appearance and her connection to American sprinter Noah Lyles. She stated, I grew up hearing that black is not beautiful. Your hair is dry, your mouth is too big, your forehead is too high. And when you throw all those insults behind you and start walking with confidence, the best compliment you get is you're pretty for a black girl. That's what she said on Instagram. She further stated, I honestly thought we were past colorism in Jamaica, especially as a nation filled with black people. She said she's been cyberbullied for weeks and when she talks about it, she is told she's lying because no Jamaican would attack her features. Well, she said she could go off ranting, but she's here to tell all girls and women on her profile that you're beautiful no matter your shape, shade, or size. And she stated to all little black girls, don't wait for anyone to tell you you're beautiful. Believe it for yourself. Tell us in the comments what are your thoughts on this. Now the meaning of colorism is prejudice or discrimination against individuals with a dark skin tone typically among people of the same ethnic or racial group. Jamaicans are mainly 90% African descendants based on the research. So basically you yeah, discriminate or you have prejudice against your own people. And the colorism speaks to so many issues. We won't even touch it in this video. We're going to come back with another video where we have the facts presented to you and how far it has come from and how it is still prevalent in society today. Jamaicans, we need to check ourselves. I want to think. We can't done with colorism now.